have to stop meeting like this. Hi. I mean it. I feel like I'm having a clandestine affair with my own wife. And I'm not enjoying it. I know. Maybe we should stop meeting. I'd love to see you. But we haven't resolved anything. It could resolve itself in a minute, Pamela. You could come home. Oh, if you were Bobby Smith or Bobby Jones, I wouldn't a minute. That's one wish the Ewing money can't grant you. Oh, I love you, Bobby. If I didn't believe that, Pamela, I wouldn't be here. I can't love the Ewing family. They destroyed my father, and now they're trying to destroy my brother. Pamela, the feuding has got to stop, and it can stop with us. I thought it would when I married you, but it's worse than it's ever been. It takes time, honey. You've got to give it time. Bobby, please don't make this any harder for me than it already is. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Come on, I'll buy you lunch. I'm glad you called me. I really didn't think you'd see me again. And if I wouldn't, would that really make a difference? Would you come home? You know, my finding out what Cliff has turned into should have made all the difference, but it didn't. Now I don't want to be Barnes or you. And... I love you, Pamela. And I want you. Does that make a difference? Of course, it makes a difference. But not enough. Oh, Bobby, if we could go someplace tomorrow, just the two of us and start over again, I'd go any place in the world with you. Except South Fork. I can't. Don't you see, Pamela? If we run away, they'll have won. Both of them, Cliff and JR. I don't want to go through life knowing that I let them with me. I'd like to tell you that I could wait forever for you to make up your mind. Life's not like that. People change. Too many things happen. Decide, Pamela. Decide soon.